You can't beat the feeling of skipping baggage claim at the end of a long flight. Have you ever pondered how you would fit all the things you need in such a small space in your closet and carry on bag? Well, it is not necessary to have fewer things or a bigger bag. A carry-on only trip can save you a lot of money, time and stress if you're traveling domestically, abroad or for an extended weekend on a budget. You don't have to drag a huge suitcase behind you after your flight when you travel light, so you can leave the airport right away. If you can't envision traveling with just a carry-on for a week or even a weekend, these packing tips may encourage you to reconsider. So here are the 10 little-known travel hacks for flying carry-on only. Number 10. Make sure you choose the right cabin bag. The travel goods industry has become more efficient at trimming down products to maximize their use. So shop based on your size. Look for small, compact gear, not just luggage. Forget about packing a large, bulky towel. Instead, choose one of the modern travel towels that fold up into a fist-sized package. Select a lightweight bag that will maximize your hand luggage allowance and make traveling easier. Weight, durability, ease of travel, and security are the four most important factors to consider when choosing luggage. Whether you're looking for a lightweight option that is just over 3 kilograms or a more affordable choice, the Amazon Basics expandable carry-on suitcase is a great choice. Choose a travel backpack that opens fully for easy access, such as a 1 kilogram travel backpack, if you prefer to keep things even lighter. Number 9. Learn which items are off-limits. Your carry-on bag is not allowed to carry certain items that you can pack in your checked luggage. A few things that you're not allowed to bring include sharp, pointy, dangerous, flammable liquids, gels, and gels exceeding 3.4 ounces. There are times when the rules can change, so check the airline website to see if you can bring an item that you are uncertain about. They will let you know if you can. Traveling locally? Check the TSA's website for the full list of prohibited carry-on items. Another option would be to take a picture of the item you intend to bring and send them a question on Facebook Messenger or Twitter. Number 8. Make use of packing cubes and compression tools. The best way to pack a carry-on is to use a packing cube. These small, lightweight bags separate items to keep them tightly organized and carefully folded, stacked, or rolled. Using packing cubes is a great way to keep all your travel essentials organized while traveling. You can use them for things like toiletries, makeup, and jackets, as well as blankets. A packing cube can become your own traveling closet. All you have to do is take the cubes out, set them where you want them, and zip them shut. You can also use compression cubes to make packing easier by compressing air out, making it easier to pack more. Separating items can also help you eliminate unnecessary items at the last minute. Number 7. Replace liquids with solids and use samples. It is important that when you are going through the airport, you prepare your bags for placement on the conveyor belt as quickly as you can, so as not to hold up the line as much as possible. As a result of their weight and size, liquids tend to take up a lot of space in bags. In addition, you're limited to that small plastic bag, which contains under 100 milliliters of each product. It is possible to replace some liquids with solids like shampoo and conditioner bars and perfumes that are more compact. Solids also reduce the amount of plastic bottles we use. In case you can't find what you're looking for in a solid form, take a look at the samples that many department and beauty stores give away with every purchase. Also, you might want to invest in some travel size reusable bottles. These are eco-friendly compared to purchasing tiny bottles all the time, and you can take your favorite products along. Number 6. Keep it folded and rolled. Don't stack it. A roller and a folder are two different strategies when it comes to folding and rolling. Many people roll while others fold. The rolling strategy is about as tried and tested as they come. Folded clothes take up too much space. A rolled pair of pants can fit into the same space as a single folded pair. The best way to pack each item is by folding it in such a way that all wrinkles are removed, then rolling the items as tightly as possible. Once the items are rolled up, they can be placed in packing cubes that can help them stay secure. Number 5. Be smart about your shoes and clothes. Taking shoes with you is a waste of space, so be smart about them. When packing, find a nice pair of durable trainers that can cover all three use cases. Rather than packing walking shoes, gym shoes, and dress shoes, stuff your shoes with socks, underwear, or a belt when they're in your bag. When it comes to your clothes, wear them. Don't pack them. Wear the items that can rather than packing them. This includes your heavy layers, having your biggest pieces such as sweatpants, jackets, gym shoes, etc. On the flight can save a lot of space in your bag. You should wear anything that would take up a lot of space in your luggage. It makes sense. You can also wear a jacket with pockets if you need even more storage. Number 4. Pack a mini first aid kit On any trip, it's a good idea to pack a small first aid kit, at the very least consisting of plasters, antiseptic wipes, pain relief, as well as any prescription medications you may need. You'll want gauze and antibacterial cream if you're going on any hikes, and you'll probably also need Imodium and anti-nausea medication if you're traveling to an area with different food hygiene than what you're used to. 
Number three, start with the largest items. Pack the largest items into your backpack first and fill it around them with progressively smaller items. If you pack your smaller things first, you'll find you don't have room for the big essentials. You can squeeze smaller items in beside the larger items if you carry on by packing your largest items first. Socks are often easy to pop in where you have some extra room. You should not hesitate to unpack, rearrange, and repack your suitcase as many times as you need to fit into your space. In an analogy, if you pack the rocks first, then the pebbles, then the sand, everything will fit. But if you pack the sand first, your rocks won't fit either. Number two, make use of jewelry, cords, and clothing hacks. You can fit charging cords into those little spaces in your suitcase. You said you could fit in socks, but you need a cord taco. You can use a cord taco to keep your cords from unraveling and getting tangled in all your items. Cord tacos are leather or plastic holders with snaps and ensure cords don't unravel and get tangled in all your items. It's also easy for necklaces and bracelets to tangle, so if you put the chain through a straw, you can use a paper straw or a stainless steel straw if you want to reduce the use of plastic. Carefully pack it into a packing cube, you won't get knotted or distressed on your trip. This is also a good alternative if you're tired of spending 57 minutes tying necklaces as if you're performing surgery on your hotel bed. Using press and seal, arrange your necklaces on the product and seal them. Number one, accessible personal items should be in your bag. In addition to your carry-on bag, you can also bring an additional small bag of personal items such as a purse, briefcase, or backpack. During the flight, you can pack snacks, electronics, and other essential items. You can pack everything else in your carry-on. When packing for personal items, a duffel bag works great because it can fit under the seat in front of you while packing quite a bit, so that you don't have to pull out your carry-on suitcase and rummage through it just to find items, particularly on long-haul flights. Make sure you have everything you're going to use on the plane in your personal items bag or purse. Where do you plan to take on vacation next with these travel hacks? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.